One pill makes you larger And one pill makes you small And the ones that mother gives you Don't do anything at all Go ask Alice When she's ten feet tall When your logic and proportion have fallen in something dead And the white knight is talking backwards And the red queen's off in her head Remember what the dumb man said Feed your head Feed your head Cookies need love like everything does What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob and welcome to another installment of Vlogging the Movies. Yes, I am vlogging today's video and the next chapter of my Wachowski Director Project, mainly because I reviewed this movie twice on my channel already. I didn't want to do the same old routine covering this film again. Also, I would have done a watch party on this originally. I know I've said this in other videos, but yeah. Warner Brothers blocked one of my watch parties when I did the Polar Express, so I'm a little weary on doing watch parties, especially when there is a Warner Brothers title. So, as you can see from the thumbnail and the title of the video, in this vlog video, I will be revisiting definitely the most, the most well-known film that the Wachowskis ever did. Obviously, it kickstarted the franchise. It's still going on to this day with a new film that just came out in theaters recently. It's The Matrix, and yeah, this is one of the few movies that I have on Steelbook, which is pretty cool. So this came out, of course, in 1999. This was a very influential film when it comes to visual effects and thoughtful storytelling. This put the Wachowskis on the map as filmmakers. They were seen as breakthrough directors because of the visual effects of this movie. And this is seen as one of the best sci-fi films of all time. I'm excited to revisit this one once again. So I'm about to watch The Matrix, re-watch The Matrix once again, and vlog my thoughts and opinions on The Matrix in this vlog-style video series. So here we go, The Matrix. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. So, as you can see, I just finished watching The Matrix. And, I gotta be honest, uh, the more I go back and revisit this movie, the more and more I actually really, really like this film. I've always like The Matrix, but there's a part of me that I've always said that The Matrix was overhyped. But, honestly, this is a really awesome movie. Uh, I deeply respect what the Wachowskis did with this movie. The fact that you took a movie that borrows a lot of elements, there's a lot of anime elements, there's a lot of elements from kung fu movies, there's elements from sci-fi stories, some of the more thoughtful sci-fi stories, but make it its own story with all the cliches is actually pretty neat. I actually do like the concept of the Matrix, uh, this computer-generated world programmed by machines which controls and enslaves humans. I think that is a very brilliant concept. And then the whole red pill and the blue pill analogy was a really cool little metaphor uh, to decide what fate you're actually in. Like, if you're in the blue pill, you stay in the matrix. If you're in the red pill, you wake up and learn the truth about what's actually going on. I, I thought that was a... There's some really cool symbolisms that are in this movie. 
I definitely see how this is a very debated movie among a lot of people about what the movie actually means. I love the cast in this movie. This is the movie that definitely made Keanu Reeves a bona fide star. He was already a popular actor, don't get me wrong, Bill and Ted, Speed and all that, but this is what made Keanu Reeves a household name. He's awesome as Neo. Yeah, the whole Neo and the one is a little on the nose. It, it just changed the letters of the character Neo, Neo and one. You can just change that around and you definitely see what the Wachowskis were going for, but Keanu Reeves is still awesome in the role. Carrie Ann Moss is Trinity, awesome character. Lawrence Fishburne is Morpheus, an amazing mentor character. Hugo Weaving is Agent Smith, one of the best villains in cinematic history. Mr. Anderson. Yeah, he is amazing in this role. I love how like robotic he is in his line delivery, but he's so over the top at the same time. I love those over the top villains. You also got Joe Pantoliano as Cypher. Very slimy character. Great in this movie. The action sequences are all a blast. The Wachowskis definitely revolutionized action filmmaking, that's for sure. Uh, the visual effects are still mind-blowing to this very day. The CGI hasn't aged a day. The CGI still looks amazing even over 20 years later. And the practical stunt work in this movie is phenomenal. Uh, I love like the martial arts action sequences, the revolutionary slow-mo bullet time sequences, the gun foo is what a lot of fans like to call it. There's just so many cool action scenes in this movie. I love the training simulator kung fu fight with Keanu Reeves and Lawrence Fishburne is one of my favorite action scenes. I think my favorite action set piece is actually when Neo and Trinity break in to rescue Morpheus and we have that extended sequence uh, with the slow-mo gun fu action. That scene is amazing. I love that sequence. There's some cool sequences in the movie mixed with thoughtful sci-fi commentary in there, which is really fascinating. The dialogue is great. This isn't a pretentious sci-fi movie. I think the Wachowskis had enough commentary in there to where you can be invested in what's going on while also enjoying the blockbuster elements of the action as well. It's, I feel like they went a little too far in the sequels with a little bit too much commentary to where it got way ridiculous by the end of it with the two sequels we'll get to those next but the first matrix is an absolute blast now i still have a couple of issues with this movie i think the biggest one is that i've never been the biggest fan of the neo and trinity romance i like the characters as a whole but them as a couple is just a little bit hard to buy. I just don't really see the chemistry, especially in this first movie. And I hate the kiss of life scene. It is absolute cringe in my opinion. That's like the one thing in this movie I've never actually bought in this entire movie. That's like the only thing that holds it back from being one of my absolute favorite movies of all time. However, The Matrix is still a blast. I think it's a great sci-fi movie it's a great action movie it's definitely probably the standout film the wachowskis have made as directors uh, i know i need to revisit speed racer and i've never seen cloud atlas but the matrix is definitely the film to beat that's for sure it's definitely the one i've revisited the most times i've only seen matrix two and three once but I've seen The Matrix several times in my life. It is an absolute blast and a game changer and how movies are made, especially visually and how action is done. And it's still an influential sci-fi film and an influential action film to this very day. I mean, Christopher Nolan made Inception because of The Matrix. And I love Inception as well. I actually think Inception's even better, on popular opinion. So... Yeah, there's definitely a lot to love in The Matrix. It's a fantastic movie. Definitely the Wachowskis, probably magnum opus movie as directors. And it's one of the all-time great sci-fi blockbusters. It's a fantastic movie. I'm giving The Matrix a four and a half out of five stars. And on the 100-point scale, it's getting a 90 out of 100, which means my rating of this has gone up 
since I've the last time I've discussed this on my channel. It was a four star movie when I first reviewed this on my channel. Now it's up to four and a half. So I do respect The Matrix the more and more I revisit this film. I'm hoping you enjoyed my vlog video on The Matrix. It's part of my series of reviews where I'm reviewing part of my series of videos where I'm covering the Wachowski's filmography. The next Wachowski video I'm doing will be for The Matrix Reloaded. My review of The Matrix sequels will be traditional movie reviews because I've never covered The Matrix sequels on my channel. So I'm excited and a little nervous revisiting them again because they're not as good as the original Matrix. But it'll be interesting to check The Matrix Reloaded out again. Be on the lookout for that video coming soon. I'll leave a link in the description below for my vlog in the movies playlist where you can check out some of the other vlog videos I've done. And also my Wachowski playlist where you can check out previous Wachowski reviews I've done. I've previously reviewed Bound on my channel if you want to check out that video. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out both playlists. If you've seen The Matrix, let me know down in the comments below would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video besides vlog videos, I also do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Whoa!